Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of lunchhourweb.com video series. My name is Paul Stevens and what I'm going to show you how to do today is to create a Word document template. Now what this allows you to do is create the same style of Word document every time and without having to put in the same elements each time. So I haven't put in the header with the same format, putting in contents in the same format, putting in a watermark and so on. So really hope I'm gonna try and make this video quick today so I really hope it's helpful uh, but the reason I'm starting with this as you'll notice as you're starting to build your website as you're starting to build your business there are gonna be things that come up that automatically steer you one way or the other and that happened to me uh, just today so if I go back to my website that we've been building and it's one of the recent videos we did is how to create a blog post well I've been, I did that a few few uh, videos ago and then I was writing a blog post for our third video, how to sign up for domain name, Gmail, Twitter, Instagram, you know, that jam-packed walkthrough. And during the video, if you watch during the video, I talk about I'm going to load a document explaining the do's and don'ts or tips when picking or selecting your own custom domain name. And so I wrote, the, wrote up the blog post about it. And now I need to attach that document that I was talking about. So before I do that, I want to create a Word template. And that means, with, you know, a month from now, six months from now, a year from now, I can create another document for maybe another episode or another blog post that has the exact same look and feel. So that's what I'm going to do today. And that steered me in today's video. I probably would have gone with something else, but I, but the work I'm doing showed me what I had to do next. So hopefully that makes sense. So what I've done is I brought up Word, a just a Word document, and there are a few elements that I want to include. Now you probably know if you double click at the top of your Word document, you're going to be brought up to your header. I'm going to go back to the home, and I want to go to the center, and it's going to be our header title or our document title. And in this section, I'm going to do lunch our web document title now I'm not gonna actually put in you know uh, I'm not gonna put in the domain name tips and tricks yet I'm just creating the template that I'll use later and then I can go in and fill in these certain elements at that time I'm gonna press enter here and then I'm gonna go to this header and footer tools tab at the top and I'm gonna insert into the header date and time and I'm just going to put in the date. I'm going to check this, bo check this box as update automatically. So the next time I load this template, it will choose obviously not today's date, August 30th. It'll choose, you know, September, November, whatever date it is. And press OK. Now I'm going to come back here, highlight my title, and I want this to be a little bit bigger. Go back to Home tab, and let's just increase it to about size 20. All right. The next step, let's go back to our header again, and this time I'm going to go design, and in the footer, I'm going to attach the page number. And let's go ahead at the bottom. It's going to give you some common layout. I want it on the right-hand side, and you have a lot of options here. Let me see which one I want. Oh, here, let's go to footer. There we go, bottom of page. This is the one I was looking for. I just want, you can have, you know, all sorts of different options here. I'm just going to do this simple one. So now we have our header, our footer, and I'm going to also insert a watermark. And that is done under the page layout. And the watermark is nice because it's going to say confidential or do not copy or whatever it is. I'm in going to insert our logo as a watermark and just way just if anybody downloads my document it's gonna have my logo on it they can't put their own branding on it and make it appear like their document instead of mine so I went ahead and just select my picture which is uh, the bowl that we've created before I'm gonna scale keep the scale as auto and I'm going to select this washout and the washout is gonna make it appear gray or very faint in the background so the nice part about that 
is as I'm typing through my document, let's say I get down to this section here, I'm typing now about a certain topic. You notice my logo in the background does not really conflict with the text on top of it. It still makes it very easy to read. So that's a nice thing about when you want to put the wash out in the background, especially of a more complex logo. Like mine, it's not very complex, but there is text in it. So text on top of text can make it a little bit difficult to read. This is different size text, very faint text in the background. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, last, I wanted to control A and select everything in my document. Go to the home paragraph tab. And this is just personal preference. I don't like multiple spaces in my document, so I want to keep that single. And I don't want to add a space between paragraphs of the same style. And what that allows me to do is when I press enter, I start right on the line below every time. So that's a personal preference to me. Whether or not you do that, obviously completely up to you. So right here is my basic template. So what I'll do for uh, this post I was talking about where I say the do's and don'ts for choosing a domain name, I'll change the document title up here. I'll put in my bullet points, maybe some explanation, and then I'll save. Uh, last thing I'm going to show you, I'm not going to use this on my template, but it's something you may want to do, is go to the Insert tab and Cover Page. And the neat thing about cover pages, especially if you have a book or a manual, you'll probably want a cover page. And so I'm just going to choose a random one here. It allows you to type in the title of a document, put in more text if you want, and you can also select on logos. Let's go to picture tools and change picture. And again, I can choose my bowl. And again, now this looks more like my document with a nice clean cover sheet. And again, I don't want to do that for purpose of this document. So let me get back down to one page and zoom back in. I'm going to go to insert and remove the current cover page. I don't really want that. Uh, maybe later if I create manuals or more in-depth documentation. There's no reason to have a cover page on a one sheet of paper, uh, at least from my understanding, just wasteful, especially if anybody's going to print it out. So, but it is something I just wanted to show you, insert cover page, nice little tool you can have as well. So now let's go to file, save as, and I'm going to change this to be a word template that dot D O T X. Let me call this lunch hour web template. Uh, let me go ahead and move it down to my lunch hour web folder desktop and I'll just leave it on the top level folder or actually no, I'm going to create a new folder and call it documents and there we go so let's save it and exit out so now when I come to my lunch hour web go to my documents all I have to do is open this make a change let me go ahead and call this um, domain tips. And then I come in now and I could put in, you know, one, go choose.com always. Two, don't avoid using numbers. in your domain name and etc. I'm gonna actually fill this out another video. You guys don't have to watch me fill out this video, uh, fill out this form yet. I'm gonna clean it up a little, probably make some of these more bold or different colors. But the point is once I'm done making my changes, go to save as, it's gonna choose docx right there. So I'll call it domain name tips and save. And what happens is I've just saved a new version. Where did that save at? Uh, 
Oh, I didn't save in the same place. Let me go back. Probably saved it under. I go to save as. Oh, it saved it under my documents. I don't. I don't want it there. I want it down on my. Uh, let's just go ahead and move this to our desktop. There we go. So that one document I just created here a minute ago should now be showing up on my document on my desktop. Here we go. For some reason it didn't show up while I'm recording the video. Here's that one I just created. Uh, so that's that's a nice little remem reminder as well. As soon as you click the template, click Save As. <laughs> Make sure you're in the right folder. Let's go back to Desktop, Lunch Hour Web, name it what you want, uh, Documents, and Save. Uh, okay. Well, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. When you have a chance, come back and read through this post. Get that document that I'm talking about, the domain name tips and tricks. And I'm going to try to keep the video short today, so I appreciate everyone's time. Have a great day, and uh, I'll see you next time.